Hey, what's up? This is your boy Will, a.k.a. the greatest political mind the world will never know. I am coming at you concerning some issues that people have been talking about concerning my videos on Barack Obama. People are saying, oh, how can you not like Barack Obama? He's black, you're black. Um, he's so positive, he's about change, he's about hope, and blah, 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 blah. You know, I am so sick and tired. Why do our people always fall for the okie doke? I don't get it. We, we, we are so into slickness and this whole swagger thing. And I think that's what gets Obama through is because... We, we, we fell for the Madison Avenue processed package that he is. The man is not qualified to be president. It's that simple. I'm not hating on him because he's black. I'm not hating on this dude. I'm not a hater on Obama. I'm so tired of hearing about being a hater. That is the most disgusting word and the most ridiculous phrase you're a hater oh my god what a bunch of idiots you say oh you're a hater I just want to smack you with a with a mallet or a fish I don't know I just want to smack people who say I'm a hater because I don't like Obama Obama ain't never done nothing for you all you black people out there or people in general you know, let's talk to the black folks. Ninety percent of you guys in polls say you support Obama. What Obama done for you? Honestly, think about that. What has Obama ever done on a national level? And don't give me that BS about McCain ain't never done nothing for black people. McCain's a white old man. Of course he ain't never done nothing for black people. But I don't expect him to because he's an old white man. So, but Obama, I expect it from him. I expect him to do something for black people. I looked at his legislative record. He's done zero, zilch, nada, nothing for black people. He's put nothing in the state legislature through. He's never done anything community-wise for us. He's never done anything in the Senate for us. But yet, 90% of you people... That's right, I'm saying you people will give him your support. A couple, about a year ago, Bill Cosby came out and said something about black men taking responsibility. Black women closing their legs and doing what they need to do in order to make themselves prosperous and productive citizens instead of laying on their back popping out babies. We gave him all holy hell. Russ Parr did, Tom Joyner did, everybody was pissing all over Bill Cosby, talking about what a traitor he was by airing our dirty laundry. But then here comes the Messiah, the one Neo Obama, and he comes out in order to silence his critics, not because he was doing it because that's something he wanted to do, no, to silence his critics, he comes out and gives a speech about responsibility, to show that he's not... A, a partial to black people and I'm sitting there like watching this ashamed and bamboozled to be black because people up there standing and cheering and just a year ago they were pissing all over Bill Cosby for saying the same thing what is wrong with us why do we always pass over the real dude for the slick dude I don't get it I don't get it I mean, I do get it, and I can go into real deep detail on why we are that way, but I won't. I'm just going to keep it light, and I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to talk to you straight up. Obama is not the president we're looking for. And everybody said, well, won't he be better than McCain? Nah. Nah. Nah, nah, he won't. I'm sorry. He won't. I'm not, I mean, I like McCain because McCain's real. He's not processed. He's not slick. He's just real. I know what McCain stands for. I know what he's going to do. And I know he's not George Bush, too. I know he's not the third term of Bush. I mean, that is so BS. People do your homework and do a study. Study and research the relationship between John McCain, 
and George W. Bush. Go back and look at the 2000 election and I guarantee you if you look and study and research the 2000 election and you come back to me and tell me that George W. Bush and John McCain are friends, I will smack you with a fish. I don't know why I'm on a fish trip today, but I will smack you with a fish because it, it ain't there. These dudes hate each other. Dick Cheney and John McCain hate each other. They cussed at each other on the Senate floor. That's not two people who like each other. Cussing on the Senate floor. Come on, people. Do your research. Do your homework. Obama is just not the guy you think he is. No, he did not grow up on the south side of Chicago. He grew up in Hawaii. The brother never even mentioned he was black until South Carolina when he needed your black vote. So, what are we doing? Why are we putting all our, 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 our chips in this one basket for this dude? we only going to get one shot, people. One shot at a black president. And when Obama's a one-term president, and he gets in the White House, and he's a hundred days into his first his president, because he's going to win, because people just hate George W. Bush that much, he's going to win. But when he gets there, you're going to be pissed, black folk. People in general are going to be so hurt because he ain't going to do nothing. He's going to be too busy trying to please everybody and repay the white folks who got him into office in the first place. And he ain't done nothing for black people then, and he sure as hell won't do nothing for black people when he's president. So all your misguided loyalty to this man is futile. So on his, and to sum it all up, hey, go ahead and vote for Obama, but you're going to get what you pay for. The man does not have the skills to lead. He's weak and he's pathetic and he's just slick like every other black politician in Columbus and all around this country. There's very few real brothers and sisters out there truly trying to make change, but those are the ones you don't hear about because the press don't want you to hear about them. But the press sure loves Obama. And have you ever asked yourself why? Ask yourself, why does the press want Obama to be president so bad? Why? Think about that. Until next time, the greatest political mind the world will never know. Take care. Peace.